Yo, what it dooski, Teddy Brewski, what's the deal, Shaquille O'Neal, what's the motherfucking word, Larry Bird? It's your boy Reactions, man. Remo's Reactions TV. I'm sure my forehead is shiny as shit. Remo's Reactions TV, we back with another one, you know what I mean? Um, Before I get into the video and all that, I just want to uh, take time out to thank everybody, all the new subscribers um, that's showing love, man, comment, and giving their opinion. It... That shit made my day and just it gave me motivation to keep on going, man. You know, the, 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 this shit is it's, it's attainable. And, uh, you know, so the goals have changed. With that being said, we've already reached 1K. So the next gate, the next goal is uh, 5K, 10K. And we're going to spike that bitch up to 350K. We're not finna play around with YouTube or none of these other YouTubers. We're a small channel now, but... Man, watch. But anyhow, um, yeah, for real, for real. So if y'all got any, all my new subscribers, the old subscribers, if y'all got anything going on where I can show support or follow or do anything, let me the fuck know. You're, let me know. And then that way I can do it because, you know, that's what I'm all about, man. You know what I mean? Giving out that good energy and making sure it's reciprocal. And you, you feel me? You put out there and you, you support who supports you. So, um, thank y'all. Work. Now we got that out the way, you feel me? Um, wanted to make sure I did that, but the topic of the day, man, is, is Rich Homie Quan Brothers response in, in, a, in a funny fashion, crazy way. Uh, and it's, it's just, you know I mean, some shit is just, it just, it's ridiculous, man. You know, we working off the phone, so you know what I mean? You got to remember that. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm just trying to make this shit as dope as possible with the, what I'm working with. Pause. And uh, go from there. But uh, let me let me get this joint started. Make sure y'all like. If y'all are new to the channel, please subscribe. You know, feel free to get down in there in the motherfucking comments and, and, and you know, voice your opinion. If I'm wrong, if I, you feel me, let me know, man. Shit. I ain't, I ain't. Man, listen, man. Come on, y'all. You know what it is. So, yeah, get down there in the comments. Make sure y'all like and share and subscribe. Most importantly, we trying to get to 5K next. You hear me? Can you hear me? For sure, though. You hear me? Shout out to my motherfucking homeboy at work. My nigga J2. Honey. Yo, yo for real, though. Hold up. Get this bitch started. I right, bet. Let me get it started. Bye. <laughs> This is content. Make sure I go over there and fuck with buddy. So this the crib, right? Just to give it, you, you already know how Google Earth is. So got the pool in the back. Like Rich Homie Kwan said, there's cameras everywhere, right? So. That's the same bathroom, the same shower pause that I showed you on the crib. So you, uh, he lives there, but you vibing. You vibing in, in, in your brother's crib. Is this what you wanted? You vibing. You vibing, homie. You vibing in, in Rich Homie Crime's crib? I'm wondering if this is before or after Rich Homie passed. Because if you're doing all this, bro, like, listen. I don't know, man, but, but. Like, there's no way I'll be dancing, celebrating, if something happened to any. I got four fucking brothers. Come on, man. Like, all that shit, I don't know. Y'all tell me, man. Maybe you don't seem hurt. I mean, you got, life goes on. You gotta, you gotta, you know, move on. It's been over a month. I get it. But, um, 
Nah, son. Seemed too quick that he ain't even turn over in his grave that he's turning nice. over now. Hold up, Send that man home. That's not even yours, family. Oh, hey. With Zeem, you can stream free local TV from all over the country. Zeem speaks for itself. It really doesn't need a celebrity spokesperson, but they promised me I could do this. Zeem. Always local, always free. To live like somebody, to emulate and have what they have. Listen, man, jealousy, envy, and wanting to be like somebody and doing anything to, to get there by any means. A nigga like that, that don't have nothing to lose. A, a motherfucker that's in survival mode will do anything, bro. Them niggas are still in survival mode. They don't know. Yo, that's the crazy part because he's actually right right there. Like, and you know, as we get older and get, you know, wiser, um, we got to realize that family a dude just as dirty as a motherfucker, even worse, motherfucker on the street. You feel me? And to think that, you know, I've been broke my whole life. I ain't tripping. You feel me? And when I say broke, I mean, like, you know, I ain't no millionaire, but we comfortable. You know, we, we all right. You feel me? I want to do better, but... You know, it takes time, man. And you gotta realize that sometimes everybody that's in your circle, as much as they say they fuck with you and all that, man, listen, man, I'm learning. I'm, I'm still learning this shit, man. Cause I got a good heart. You hear me? But my radars be crazy up. And once that energy is disrupted, you feel me? It ain't no looking back from there, it's over with. But it comes from family, friends, people that you knew your whole life. And it's just like, yo, like, that's what this shit come to? Reactions. We ain't gonna get kicked out or whatever, so they gotta go according to the plan. They gotta make sure they do something. And so which homie Crumb will look at them as, you know, if, if they're not doing nothing, they ever then he ain't gonna, gonna, he gonna, he ain't gonna, you, you, you know, you baggage. So he ain't gonna want that around. You gotta, you gotta um, shake your bed. You gotta bust a move. You gotta make some moves. You gotta make something happen. You dig what I'm saying? You gotta help with these fucking bills and so forth, so on. Fact. Contribute. It's called it's called accountability and responsibility. Be accountable and be responsible to the best of your ability. Who wants to live off of a brother? Who wants to? do that who wants to motherfucking rely on another grown man to take care of another grown man or to make sure you shine and or when i you know that's where the jealousy and envy come in man because you wasn't there when he was motherfucking putting that work in in the studio learning these rhyme patterns learning how to spit learning cadences learning all that nah you was you feel me now you trying to do it here go the obituaries they thought i was capping I don't know, man. It's just, it's. Just... Oh bang like. It's crazy, man. Got a box full of bitches. If you need one, let me know. Yo, this nigga shit got a box full of bitches. If you need one, let me know. Yo, do that sound like a motherfucker that is hurt? Do it sound like a person that's in mourning? Does it sound like a... That let me know that's a little gesture that's a fucking... A joke. A subliminal. And this your brother, bro. Like, that's just... To me, that's just fucking... 
Well, you fuck on the trying to bang like you hear this retarded nigga? You hear him? Got a box full of bitch rares. If you need one, let me know. Let me know. Yeah, you hear this? I'm trying to bang like Steve. Oh, got a box full of bitch rares. If you need one. Mentally unstable niggas. Yo, that's crazy. Am I tripping? I know I'm not tripping. No, you not tripping, dog. Listen, 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 listen. All viral access media. You're not fucking tripping, beloved. That's one thing you're not doing. You ain't tripping and you ain't falling, dog. You heard? I'm reactions, man. Nah, you not. That's crazy work. That's nasty work. Yeah, bro. Yeah. When a motherfucker want to be you. They would anything. Or pray for anything to whereas the the light that you have, it'll shine right on you, on them, excuse me. And, And pray for your downfall. One of them niggas, he's happy. But it's almost like he's happy. Yeah. To me. I agree. Every time, listen, your enemies, your enemies are all. It seemed like he like I finally got this nigga out of the way, but he, he didn't get him out of the way because he's gonna be haunted. It's always gonna be constant. Home, his kids. If you one of them motherfuckers, bro, homeboy gonna. You know I ain't gonna say it, but yo. That shit's just strange fucking behavior. Always people that you know. Majority of the times, the per- a person who want to be you, that hate on you, is a person that you know that that's really, really envy of you or try to do harm to you. Nine times out, the, out of ten is the person that you already know that was in your circle, man. That came from the trenches together. Same family, you got talent, I got talent. I can rap, he can rap. What makes him better than me? My bad, bro. I, I'm, I'm, shit, I'm handsome. I can rhyme, I can dress. Why this nigga rich is, 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 is blowing up like that? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I. But, but, but I got more John Blaze shit than that. My shit is John Blaze for those. <laughs> hey, hey, yo. <laughs> That's the bad rapper. I got more John Blaze shit to that. <laughs> yo. yo, make sure y'all go to all, yo, go to Bull shit, man, for real. Go subscribe. Again. You know that shit, the mad rapper, no, to rich. It's, 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 it's family. You got talent, I got Pretty talent. Action, I can rap, he can rap. What makes him better than me? I, I'm, I'm, shit, I'm handsome. I can rhyme, I can dress. Why this nigga rich is, 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 is blowing up like that? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I. But, 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 I got more John Blaze shit than that. My shit is John Blaze. For those who know that skit, the mad rapper of Notorious Big that. Album skit. They don't know but that. It's man. just like, man. How long I've been here? Let's keep it pushing. I interview a lot. If you listen, be careful. I just. Try red. Miss, huh? Yo. Oh, let's pause. Miss Scorpios are going to do something we do not like talking to people on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. Checking in and checking in, none of that. And that's how Scorpios. That's five hours ago. Yo. So this is this is this is a, a post that that Dre put up. Rich Homie Kwan's brother Dre, the one that found him in the kitchen on the floor allegedly. Notice for entertainment and educational purposes. Um, found him on the floor. And you know, put him to the couch and and uh, leaves and goes and washes the 
the sprinter van. Or cleans out the sprinter van. So you ever thought, like, why the fuck, what happened in the sprinter van? Like, why are they cleaning out at fucking 6, 7 in the morning? When broski in there on a, on a jump in, in the house, laying on the couch with his eyes open, food in his mouth, and a blanket over top of him? Are they dumb? So you just, you put this up five hours ago. We talking about... Scorpio. When Scorpios are going through something, we do not like talking to people on a daily basis. Checking in, none of that. And that's how Scorpio always been. Hold on. All right. Scorpio. Pause that because that shit was in the way. None Scorpio? of that. And that's how Scorpio's always been because we easily become overwhelmed and overstimulated. And that's not changing for nobody. People be expecting others to handle life circumstances the way they do. And that's not right. A Scorpio misery doesn't love company. We would rather isolate ourselves until we get it together. Long story short, leave a Scorpio alone when they do when they don't feel like being bothered. Fuck out of here, man. Um. Uh, mindset is the difference between success and failure. Control your mind in the right way, and you'll control your. Well, your mindset when you see your motherfucking brother land on the motherfucking floor, knowing damn well shit ain't look right. To do something. Period, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, beloved? Man, look at me when I'm talking to you, horse. Don't look over there. Look at me. Motherfucker, for real. Come on, man. That should have been your me. mindset, nigga. I tell y'all like, this little story, right? My older brother noticed me one time. I came home. I was in college. Came home. Excuse me. Came home and stayed with my brother. My brother was in the streets, you know, doing whatever he do to keep himself up. And uh, he just was monitoring me when I got in the crib. Five hours. I sleep. I'm sleeping in the ball, like fucked up. My side hurt. Feel me? He noticed that shit. Like. Called my mom instantly in the morning. Mom, something wrong with Reem. He's sleeping in a ball. He know I toss and turn throughout the night. My mom like, all right, get him some ginger ale, get him some soup. If that don't bounce him back, take him to the hospital. He goes and follows the instructions. Come back, put the soup on. As soon as I start smelling that shit, start earling and going number two at the same time. No disrespect. Took me to the hospital. Less than seven minutes later, I'm in there getting my appendix removed because I had appendicitis. They labeled me with Crohn's disease. That was false. But the point I'm trying to make, my brother peeped. He like something ain't right. And he acted upon those thoughts and what he believed. You feel me? What the fuck was going on, which actually was true. And to this day, I'll be like, that nigga saved my life. Oh, my. Sounds good. Your that story horn, still bro. didn't match up. Turn pike twist. Your movements was the weird when the police was there. Love you, boy. Y'all, almost like y'all rehearsed it. You still didn't tell the police the window between the kids. Welcome home, you my nigga. Put them on that couch. Let's and when you cool. left that night, did you leave at five in the morning? Did you hold on? Did you did you leave when you put him on the couch knowing that he was dead? That's a fact. When you put him on that couch because your act, your answer that. Answer that. Let's get to that. When you left, and this is why them niggas walking off from the police when they answering asking questions. This is why these niggas is. Leaving, coming back to hear who's saying what so they can see if the story is just matching up or if niggas is, is, is. Like, bro, how you how could you live with yourself, dude? If this shit is true. You sure you went to sleep? Or did That's you leave opinion. because you did leave? I don't know why the police didn't catch that. After you put them on. The couch. Right. They said, well, what did you do after that? Quick, 
Right. Yo, listen, hold up. Let me get the hold on, man. Yo, listen to what he just said, y'all. Dre said they went to sleep. But then, who called you to come here? To come over? I think he said air or something like that. Hold up. Hold on, hold on. But that was a... Come on, come on. I got to go back. Because that was a fucking... What the fuck? Why did he even... Hey, my fault, y'all. I'm working on the phone, man. Around 11, 20, 11, 30 something. So what happened? What time did you do after that? Quick, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dre... I don't know why the police didn't catch that. Right, 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 right. Hold up. After you hold put... Hold up. All viral. When you put him on that couch, and when you left that night, did you leave at 5 in the morning? Did you hold on? Did you did you leave when you put him on the couch knowing that he was dead? Hold on, right there. This nigga is on one. A all viral access. At five in the morning. Did you hold on? Did you did you leave when you put him on the couch knowing that he was dead? When you put him on that couch because you sure you went to sleep, or did you leave because you did leave? I don't know why the police didn't catch that. And then if you notice. Throughout all the videos, this nigga is trying to leave bad as shit. And I don't, like he said, how the police ain't catch that? Like, when he, when you left, but they was dipping off. They was just being anti, you feel me, cooperative type shit. After you put him on the couch, they said, well, what did you do after that? Quick. Dre said they went to sleep. But then, who called you to come here? To come over? I think he said Amber or something like that. Who called, after Dre left, who called him to come back? Is what he's saying. But that was around 11, 20, 11, 30 something. And so afternoon. what happened? What time What time did you leave the crib? Did you leave 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? Because they called you around 11 in the morning. That's six hours, bro. Let's count it. Yo, that's a fact. He's spitting. Yo, he dropping motherfucking torpedo bombs on these motherfuckers' heads. Can y'all hear me? Yo. Reactions, man. This is what I do. I'm just a small channel. Pause. But this is, this is, this shit motherfucking natural. Can you hear me? I'm from Wilmington, Delaware, cousin. It different around this bitch. But yeah, that is crazy. Four, five, six, six. seven, time, eight, when? nine, ten, eleven. That's seven hours. That's seven hours or and, and it's eight hours if we do if it's three. That's eight hours unaccounted for, bro. Eight hours unaccounted for. You asleep? Yeah, you asleep, all right. Whatever drugs you was on that convinced you to do that shit or manipulate whoever manipulated it did not. And even if it if it's not that, if it, if it's a reach. Pause, then it's a reach, but at the same time, bro, your actions just make people want to just question your whole motherfucking existence. Straight up. You still got to look at your mom. You got to look at your dad. Pops know some shit ain't right. But I'm done with this shit, man. You know what I mean? Rest in peace, rich homie Quan. Much condolence to the, and, and love to the family, his kids. You know, just try to give them positive energy, man. I don't know, bull. You know, every you know people die every day. You know what I'm saying? So when you wake up, even though we complain about shit, man, we gotta get it done and try to you know right our wrongs and be better, man. But when it's coming with them or with the people that you think, Jane, I was listening to his album today and all they do is shouting out Dre, bro. Like, what the fuck? And this nigga, he gotta listen to the album. Like, niggas dropped the ball on this one, man. Remo's Reactions TV. I love y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe. You know what I mean? If you're new to the channel, 
hit that notification bell so you get all the content when I drop. I'm trying to get monetized. I'm tired of working at Amazon 10 hour shifts, man. It's killing me, man. You know. So we going we going we going to put the work in. I just need y'all to help me. And, and, and you know, if y'all got something going on, I'm going to, you know, return the favor for sure. I love you. Peace. Love. Stay dangerous and stay blessed. You hear me? Remo.